All right, I've been working all day and I got to be up real early in the morning. Sorry, bumping the camera excited. But this showed up on the doorstep late. And I've got to do an unboxing because I got to see what's in here. First of all, this is the artwork of Steve Pashal. Lives in Hawaii. Phenomenal. Conflict of Heroes, Academy Games. First time Conflict of Heroes goes into the Pacific, baby. First time, Guadalcanal. So first, take a look. Beautiful. We can see a little bit of reflection there. I've got to get the shrink off. There's supposed to be a real nice, uh, I can hear it shifting around, like a real nice tray in here to hold everything. So you can kind of see what we got going on. Let me come in. You're going to see the boards in here. They're just gorgeous. This is one of the boards being displayed. So let me open this up so we can get a look inside. Um, I've already read the rules on this. Uh, there's a very, very interesting uh, rule set um, for the Japanese called Bushido. I'll get into that when I do a review on this. Um, I'm going to want to get several plays in, but uh, I've got some time off, so I think I'm going to be able to get... Uh, I've already got a bunch of guys coming over tomorrow, but we will see. But Bushido is really cool because one of the problems with playing the Japanese is that the bonsai charges, the suicide charges, are not really a very effective combat strategy. Um, so by using, by uh, doing a charge, you can get Bushido, which can allow you to do certain things. If I remember right from the rules, you can get more um, either command points or, or uh, cards, which uh, allow you to do certain things that are like, you know, real special little activities. All right, so here we go. So the rule book. So first of all, you're going to see, I'm just telling you, you're going to see a um, very nice tab system, which... It's not real tabs, but it tells you what section you're in, so it's easy to reference. And you're also going to see, you'll see red text that's kind of telling you, hey, here's some examples. And then you're going to see blue text like this, which is going to be designer notes. And then uh, you got this brown uh, text, which is optional rules. And you're going to see that throughout here. You'll see plenty of pictures, plenty of descriptions. I'm just going to kind of flip through pretty quick here. Now you'll see a lot of text. Um, so, but here's a whole huge area on examples. The other thing that's real nice is we're going to show you campaigns or their firefight book. Now, again, I haven't even looked at this, but I can tell you the way uh, it's done at Academy Games is that you learn the rules that allow you to play some of the first scenarios. Usually vehicles and things will come in later, so you can kind of get started, not kind of, you can get started playing the game right away. Um, again, I'm going to just flip through here, uh, but you're going to see there's just lots of pictures, lots of examples. They're going to go in and show you how line of sight works, what blocks what, how elevation works. It's all very intuitive. The cards um, are what give you a lot of the fog of war with this system. And uh, all the information is really right on the counters as well. So things move fluid. What I like about Conflict of Heroes, the system, is it really lends itself to the narrative arc of what's going on um, with the tactical combat that you're involved with as you're playing. So you can see they kind of do a run through, not kind of, they do a run through of all the different units, what they look like. Scenarios will call for certain units, so you're going to go find them. Um, we'll just flip through here real quick. You're going to get some historical introduction. And then you're going to start going into, wow, this is cool. Commanders at Guadalcanal. That's very nice. Then you're going to get into your different firefights. So firefight one, it'll basically tell you um, uh, what troops to grab, what maps you're going to use, uh, how to orient the map, where to place the starting troops. That's gorgeous. And again, I'll get into a lot of that when we do the review. You're going to see, this is really cool, they've done, they've done these full breakouts, these full pages. You're going to see these map boards here in a little bit, and they're photorealistic, I'm just telling you. So you can see all the detail that's gone into even setting up your individual firefights. And I'm going to skip through some of these. We're at Firefight 12. 
So there are 12 firefights, and I do know there's some more online. There are some um, army units that can come. They may have just been for the Kickstarter, and they may be something. A lot of times, uh, Academy Games will have stuff even in the BGG store, little tiny expansion pieces, and there's usually extra firefights online. Um, your reference uh, sheets, so summary sheet, uh, your movement and defense, everything's broken down real quick on what defense, how it helps you, is it cover, is it not, does it slow your movement down or does it not, if it does, how much. I'll get into these in much more detail. Here's your Bushido points, your command points, which allow you to take actions, your action points are here. Command points, you can do a lot of things. Imagine. Oh, for instance, the Germans had very good leadership, so they would get more command points than, say, the Russians. Now, again, we're dealing with Japanese and Marines here, but your command is kind of like the training of your um, leaders and uh, the influence, or maybe even, you know, the use of radios and communication. Counters are oversized. They're a lot bigger than what some folks were used to uh, from the old Avalon Hill games. I don't really have anything to compare it to, but just putting my hand in here, sorry, just blew my white balance. But you can see the nice detail uh, and all the information that's on the counter. I'll go into this again when we do the full review. Let me move through a little quicker, just kind of show you the counters. Again, and look how easy they come out. This is nice. We've got flares, so flares are popping. A lot of night action going on in Guadalcanal. So these are real easy to punch out. Here's your Americans, your Marine troops. Let's get into these. Look at this, another one's just simply falling out. All right, these are gorgeous. Just, all right, let me move back. You can kind of see all right, and then I'm going to pick up the board and just bring it in close so you can kind of get the look and the feel here. Look at the surf coming up on the beach. You can see the waves. You can even see the roll in the sand. And what you'll see is there's these hex sides, and I love this. They kind of fade them out on the edge so you can see your corners. You can see the center point line. All right, but they don't, uh, the, the maps are so beautiful, you're not stuck just looking at a bunch of hexes. I mean, this is just gorgeous. Look at these palm groves. Little building down there. And one of the nice things is the building there is just for the aesthetics, but it means a built up area. So it could mean more than one building, but the art on there shows a single building and it just looks gorgeous. Let's see this next map. I'm telling you, the, uh, the very first Awakening of the Bear, the maps were good. And then they redid them with a second printing. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. These look like they're, you know, shot from Google Maps or something. Just wonderful detail. So again, I'm going to kind of keep it out here. You can see how there's a lot more, you know, you're in off the beach here, but there's still some sandy regions. Now we're going to show you, oh, look at these, some overlays. So we've got some punched out overlays. All right, so on some trees. Here we've got two different elevation changes. So here's your regular, and then we've got a hill, and then we've got like another peak. Same deal here, a little easier to see. And uh, they'll even, if you've got a cliff side, they'll show, you can tell when you're dealing with a cliff, and uh, obviously uh, changes your movement rules when you're dealing with a cliff side. I don't know if they have cliffs here or not. I've just played a couple of the academy maps where they do. Here we've got some more elevation, and again, I just can't gush enough. These are top-of-the-line maps. Let me show you the back. So it's just black, but you can see how well they're put together, and then you can see all your elevation here. And we're going to come in again. And we've got a little river running through it. And again, a lot of elevation. Some trickier stuff there. That is cool. I can't wait to play on that map. Now here's something that was different. Uh, none of the Academy Conflict of Hero games have had a lid on it. So your boards would kind of keep everything down. Um, but on occasion, things would shift. 
Uva's added a uh, he's added in an actual lid, so you can pull this out, move it around. Everything's being held in place. Loving that. Here are some of the cards. Like I said, uh, different scenarios will tell you, hey, you're going to start with this many cards. You'll draw another card every round, or maybe the cards you start with is all you have. And these offer you that fog of war you never quite know. You know, like here you get one free action. So you might think the player's done. You go make a move. Boom, in comes a card. Um, I'll do a little bit of dice rolling. Very nice dice. I like the rounded edges, but dice are dice. But wonderful tray. Um, I need to see if they've got something online. I always try to figure out like which ones go in the shorter slots, which ones are in the longer slots, obviously the cards, but I'm loving this. It's uh, the, the lid's going to be perfect. I get a little bit, I'll be shooting a video and I'll, I'll stand the game up for the camera so you can see it and I'll hear stuff shifting and I'm always like, oh my God, there go all my units. The, the past ones have been okay, better. All right, so Guadalcanal, once again, Steve Pichal's art there, love it, wonderful, coming right at you, and a review will be coming soon, I can't wait, see you guys, Chief, Bonnie with Board Games. Mm -hmm.